Hello, this is Dave Pratt, and I wanted to create this online video for you to, for those of you who are trying to add some assessment information into ballots. To access ballots, you simply put in the URL pnc.edu and then it's slash assessment. You'll see that there's a link for ballots, and all you need to do is log in with your regular PNC name and password. Then you'll see the areas that you've been given responsibility for adding information to. And let's just take a look at early childhood. You'll see that you have both the ability to edit program information and then to edit learning outcomes. So both of these need to be added to at each reporting period. When you go to edit program information, as of this semester, the it's the beginning of the spring 2010 semester, you should have program context, the learning outcomes, sources of learning outcomes, and stakeholder involvement, including stakeholder involvement for learning outcomes, for activities and assessment methods. And that's all that res you're responsible for adding up to this point. The only fields left are really, uh, once you've analyzed some data, the review process and some reflection on that. But let's go back and now that we know that we have some context information, by the way, if you don't have it and you have it in a file, you could always browse and attach a file. And that's perfectly acceptable if it's written in another, uh, for another report or it's in a Word document form already. Um, but let's go back and look at editing learning outcomes. Now our first reporting, everybody did great at adding the outcomes, but what we have to do at this point is edit one of these outcomes and provide some more detailed information. For example, when I click on edit this first outcome about child development and learning, you will see that I'm given additional fields. Uh, at first I just had a description, an overall description, but then I'm going to come up, I, actually I worked with Mary Jane Eisenhower on this. We came up with specific performance criteria that we would be measuring. And then some specific learning activities related to those outcomes or to that particular outcome. And every time you add a learning activity, um, you're asked to add the environments or the courses. And when you attach environments, it just you could search for different courses that are in the Purdue system, or they'll give you some boxes of recently added courses. For assessment methods, now that we have some learning activities chosen, um, we could choose some assessment methods. And you can see that they've given you a breakout box, so you could just click the available assessment methods that you want to use. And again, you could attach the environments in which that assessment is being held. So, um, we're not up to the fourth part yet um, in our ballots timeline where we have to review the evidence and the findings. All that is expected now is for each program to take at least one of the learning outcomes and to add both the learning activities and the assessments related to that. So please let me know. I'm, I'm very willing to sit down with you and, and go through this uh, with you one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, hopefully this tutorial has been helpful and you're able to update um, the ballot system with your appropriate assessment information. Thank you.